prostate is part of male reproductive system it releases fluid which is called prostate fluid and this fluid nourishes sperm and helps transport of sperm when prostate inflammation happens it is called prostatitis prostatitis is quite common it affects around 10 to 15 percent of males and it's high percentage what is the idea of prostatitis we have prostate here which is below bladder and um, inside this prostate there is urethra and if we have prostatitis here pr uh, prostatitis causes enlargement of prostate and inflammation and it's painful and this el enlargement causes compression of urethra and we have frequent urination painful or burning sensation of urination and problems with urination so because anatomically um, prostate is near uh, urethra and bladder it causes urination problems but most common and most important symptom is pelvic, pelvic discomfort or pelvic pain second most common symptoms are frequent urination painful urination and burning during urination sometimes it's possible that uh, pain between scrotum and rectum discomfort in the penis or testicles and painful ejaculation sometimes if there is chronic bacterial um, prostatitis it can cause flu-like symptoms also now prostatitis primarily affects male's sexual health and uh, it's important problem and usually uh, for males it's difficult to talking about these problems and it causes sexual problems erectile dysfunction sexual uh, it affects sexual well-being and health and what is uh, potential complications complications can be chronic prostatitis chronic urinary tra tract infections and chronic prostatitis slightly increases risk of prostate cancer but this correlation is not uh, well understood and uh, evidences are weak so there is uh, some risk some risks that it can increase uh, prostate cancer chance uh, and what causes uh, what causes uh, uh, prostatitis most common cause of prostatitis is bacterial infection second most common cause is chronic uh, uh, chronic pelvic pain syndrome uh, which usually cause of dysfunction of nerves and the immune system and how, how now let's say how we diagnose how we diagnose uh, prostatitis important is physical examination including digital rectal examination is important pro, uh, important diagnostic method and it's informative and urine culture and semen analysis if needed uh, and treatment usually first line treatment is fluoroquinolones like ciprofloxacin uh, their antibiotics and trimetoprim sulfamethoxazole antibiotics also because most cases of prostatitis is caused by bacterial infection and as a second line treatment if first line treatment is not effective then um, uh, culture specific antibiotics is needed culture specific means that we need to culture for example urine uh, to understand what is specific causative agent and uh, we should find antibiotic which is sensitive towards this agent and it means culture specific antibiotics and if it's not effective also uh, we have third line treatment which is surgery at this case surgery is third, la third line treatment um, that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now